what you would see over here, number four. Oh, I actually wore my version of these that I have from T Skies mm -hmm. today because I thought it looked so good with my orange and black outfit. My I'm, I'm ready for spooky season. This orange is so delicious, though. You know, I know we see these and we show them quite often, but the inlay is never the same at the top. Oh, I know, I love that. So it's a little bright, but that the shell has some striations in it up there at the top. It's not solid. It has a little bit of character. The shells are beautiful. So as, as you can see, this was one shell that was cut in half. Cut oh, well. why does it say 12? Probably the artist keeping track of how many, which, uh, which ones go with each other. Oh, that's right, because if you cut those from one shell, you don't want to lose track of its sister. Exactly. Can gotcha. you imagine that would be like the thing about these two, these are usually made in Kewa Pueblo, which is on the way to Santa Fe. Um, and you don't really find them like around, like they're not mass produced in any way. So they're really special when you do find them. And I get so many compliments on mine. I think I would say that they're probably my top five most worn earrings day to day. They go with everything. 